we are assuming there'll be an all Canadian division uh, whenever the NHL season starts. So for the purpose of this exercise, we've asked Anthony Stewart and Justin Bourne to rank the players at each position uh, from the Canadian teams. And we will start with the centers. We'll put up the lists that you guys uh, made. And right now it is a consensus. McDavid won. Matthews number two. Uh, but Justin, I see that you don't even have the league MVP at three. Uh, so I'll start with you, Anthony. Uh, did you contemplate putting dry settle above Matthews? I did, but uh, I, I think one of those, it's one of those situations where dry is probably one of the most underrated players in the league. I counted him out when he scored 50 goals two seasons ago saying, ah, you know, he did it by accident. And then he follows that up by an MVP season. So I think he's got to impress me one more time before he gets that respect, but uh, that's no slight on him. I think it's just based on the fact that McDavid missing the season, missing some time last year during the season is going to come back and be a man on a tear. If there's a 60 game season, I can easily see him putting up a hundred points. And uh, Matthews was toiling around 50 goals this year. Uh, he's going to be a goal scoring machine. So no slight on dry sidle, but uh, he's behind those two going into next season. Justin, why Pedersen above the MVP? Uh, for me, it's just a all-around versatility thing, you know. Like, there, there's no doubt that Leon Dreisaitl can contribute on the offensive end, but his success kind of mirrors the Oilers' success a little bit to me, is that we know they can score and we know they can run and gun, but, like, can you defend? Can you win in playoffs? Can you play that kind of hockey? And I think, you know, we've seen from Pedersen that he's a 200-foot player on top of what he creates uh, offensively. And, like, having the guy as the fourth best player at the position in the world is not a slight. I'm not saying Dreisaitl's not a player. I'm just saying, Pedersen, for me, you give me either guy to start a, a playoff game tomorrow, I'm taking Pedersen every time. A couple of captains omitted, Horvat, and uh, for you, Anthony, most notably, John Tavares. Why not in the top five for the league's captain? Well, we'll see when we uh, get uh, further down the list. I can't have all the Maple Leafs forwards uh, on the top of the <laughs> list. Uh, for me, Tavares took a step back uh, uh, last year, but uh, for me, Matthews is, is just next level. And just seeing his training in the offseason with McDavid, he's going to take another step in his development. And let's keep in mind that McDavid's a little bit on the younger side. Tavares, you know exactly what you're going to get uh, with McDavid, with, uh, t with uh, sorry, uh, Matthews. You know, 60 goals is his ceiling. That's, that's extraordinary. Those are Oveshkin's numbers. So it's no slight on Tavares, but uh, Matthews, he's, he's, he's next level. Yeah, and uh, I'm on the other side of that with the Tavares thing, Stewie. I mean, the, the, guy still, the, the guy still got it, I think. And you, when you're looking at the length of his contract, knowing what you can get, uh, you, you know, reliable play and offense from him, I think you're going to get that for at least another season. Uh, I'm not willing to say he's in the tail end of his career just yet. So I, I had him just inside my top five. Speed, speed, and more speed. That's what it's <laughs> trending. You know that, JT. No Thornton speed out there. 